Hi and welcome back. I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production professional. Thanks for joining me today and colouring me in for another post-production demonstration. Hey and welcome back. Today I'd like to show you how to ingest simply and quickly and efficiently red media into Avid Media Composer. Now I'm in Avid here and I've created a bin, Avid AMA or Avid Media Access. If I control click into the bin, could input source browser. I want to link these files in. I've got some, uh, just a couple of clips on the desktop here and in that folder there. And you can see that the way that red um, encapsulates its media, it places it into an individual folder per clip. Now, if I go to link, nothing happens. I get this error, okay? Now, if I come out of here, let's figure out what we need to do. What we need is this red R3D installer. Double click on that. You can download this from the avid.com uh, website. Great, all done. Of course, what we need to do is restart Avid. I'm just gonna open that back up again. Okay, let's try that again. Control click, input, source browser. There are the full clips I wanna bring in again. I'm gonna link them in and very quickly, here they are. They populate very, very fast into the browser. Um, these are just some guide clips. You can see they're linked with the little chain icon there. These clips are actually 8K, so let's see how they play from the desktop. Not bad at all. Some applications you struggle with, I'd imagine, in Avid. I would never really recommend editing natively any other codec other than Avid's chosen DNX series. Um, so it might be worth highlighting your clips and going to consolidate transcode and transcoding them to something more easy for your storage to play back. And you know, you can knock this down to HD if you wanted to. You could change the source dimensions here too. The good thing about Avid is that we're able to, if needed, to knock these clips down, to downstep these clips to a more favorable, efficient codec in order for our system to work better. And bearing in mind, if you're on a PC or a Mac, how your storage is connected to that system and also what your storage is. Um, my advice is transcode any linked media into a favorable Avid workflow codec. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time. Mm -hmm.